What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Jim and I, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for Sana Gemini for July 2022. This is to resonate with Gemini in any, any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hand, and your chart. Stuff is basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with rest. Free general collective reading. For the sign of Gemini. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,340 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's high priestess for a The link to the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no limo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I do not publicly display your name or how much you donate if you um, choose to donate. Well, not, um, I don't publicly display your name. Sometimes I display how much you donate. I'm just saying. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. This is for a sign of Gemini. This can resonate with Gemini in any, any aspects of your charts. This is psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. I use um, Oracle and Tarot cards to deliver the messages. I um, uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I personally, uh, I mean, I'm currently closed for personal readings. Um, and yeah. Cheetah and Beaver. I did receive one channel message as I was uh, meditating on your energy, Gemini, and I heard all the trails are about to catch up in a huge way. That's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. All the betrayals are about to catch up in a huge way. So you plug it in your own life, how it resonates. Now energies can be reversed. So you have to plug yourself into the message or messages, how they resonate. Have you betrayed somebody? Have you betrayed one person, two people, two plus people? Have you not betrayed anybody? I uh, feel if you have betrayed one, two, or two plus people, you're on the negative side of karma here. But if you have not betrayed person, people, place, or etc., 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 you're on the positive end of karma here. That's the way I look at this. So you have to plug in your own life and situation, how it resonates here, Gemini. Um, all, but all the betrayals are about to catch up, either to you or to other people, or etc., etc., etc. However, that resonates and applies. Spirit messages to your sign of Gemini. An entrapment plan is about to seriously backfire. An entrapment plan is about to seriously backfire. So an, entra an entrapment plan is about to seriously backfire. Whether you have planned this entrapment plan or somebody you're connected to has planned this entrapment plan, some kind of entrapment plan has um, is about to seriously backfire. You have to plug yourself in, however this resonates and applies in your own situation. Gemini. Nobody should be trying to entrap anybody in person, in person, people, place, or situation. And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that. Feel for some, you could be the one being trying to be entrapped, or you have been entrapped, uh, i.e., enslaved, or um, some, um, or you were trying to entrap person, people, place, or situation. A Gemini is about to view readings again, and they are about to be shocked on someone's channel. A Gemini is about to start viewing view readings again on someone's channel. They're about to be shocked. So this could be you, Gemini, about to view readings on someone's channel. Um, I'm assuming it's somebody else's channel. I'm assuming you're watching my channel. I'm assuming. But there's a Gemini out there somewhere in the universe that, um, sorry, it's my cat behind me, uh, is about to start viewing readings again on somebody's channel, a reader's channel, and they're about to be shocked. So, however that plugs in, uh, plugs in and resonates there, Gemini. I don't put nothing behind people being wrongfully terminated in the universe four times in my city with severe retaliation for about two years. I don't put it past anybody, any freaking body, and that's just the truth. Spirit messages you have for sign, Gemini.
Dear January Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. January, good news. Uh, third chakra tree, cheetah beaver. For some, you could be dealing with fire sign or a um, earth sign. If you are, they could have uh, Aries Leo Sag or Taurus Capricorn Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midheim at Jupiter charts. If this resonates for you, Gemini. Cheetah. Number 40 could also be a very significant number in one's life. Number 40, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in, how it resonates. Number 41, number 53, number 54. Number 41, number 53, number 54. Number 35, number 34. Number 35, number 34. Number 42, number 43. Number 42 and number 43. That's a lot of numbers. So I feel that could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in your life. There's a lot of numbers there. So if you need them, you can replay back. Cheetah, cheetah. Things are about to start moving fast, 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 fast. In many Gemini's lives, some you're going to like this, for some you're not. Things are about to start moving fast, 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 fast. In uh, some of you guys' lives, for some you're going to like this, for some you're not. So cheetahs, um, they're one of the fastest mammals, um, period. Uh, they can go up to 40 miles per hour. I learned that on the um, History Channel, watching it with my dad when I was a young buck. So they can go up to 40 miles an hour. So fast, fast, fast energy, like Ada Wines energy. Fast, fast, fast. Um, some you're going to like this, for some you're not. So you plug it in how it resonates. Fast energy for cheetah energy. An illegal case study on a family is about to be exposed hugely in the court system and publicly and to the part one of the people adults that was involved in this had a household no once she finds out about this she will place a lawsuit okay i heard an illegal case study done on a family is about to be found out soon i heard it's about to uh, go very public um in the court systems and to the head household Fem energy it sounds like it's fem energy. How head a household that um, was uh, it sounds like entrapped or enslaved or something of that nature regarding a hidden um, I think a hidden camera. Because how else are they going to do an illegal case study on a family unless it was done secretly and hidden with a hidden camera? I, I didn't hear hidden camera, but that's my deductive logic reasoning. Reasoning, but I heard once she finds out about it, she's going to place a lawsuit, and she will win. She will win. No doubt. A Gemini really needs to hear this. And she will win. She will win. No doubt. A Gemini needs to hear this. So that could be the fast energy of the information about to come out with the illegal case study done on the family. It's a fem energy how to head a household that it was done on illegally. Invasion of privacy. Invasion of po um, um, protected health information. HIPAA violations. All kinds of things here. All kinds of laws broken. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, I heard once she finds out, she will place a lawsuit and she will win. Um, hands down. Hands down. But it's not only going to go to her. I heard it's about to go to the court systems. And it's about to go to um, the public. So whoever did this, I hope they end up in prison. And I'm just serious. This is terrible. There are many series of chain events. These people are about to be very publicly humiliated and they will end up having runs, runs, run-ins with the police. They will be jailed one after one after one. Okay, I heard there are many series of chain events. These people will end up um, having run-ins with the police. So some kind of run-ins with the police. 
um, whether it's staged run-ins or not, I don't know, but some kind of run-ins with the police or maybe um, there's warrants, going to be warrants issued for their arrest or what have you, what have you. I don't know how the run-ins with the police are going to happen with these people, but it sounds like a group came up against a family for an illegal case study. Um, but it is about to get so public that everybody's going to know or most everybody's going to know. So these people are about to be taken down is what it sounds like. You could be one of these people that was a participate in this illegal case study or not. Only you know your story and not anybody else. But I heard they're going down one after one after one. So fast energy taking these people down one after one after one. This is about to turn into a huge thing soon and quickly. Huge protected health information violation, huge HIPAA violation, huge invasion of privacy. This is about to turn into a huge, huge, huge thing, huge uh, protected health information um, violation, huge HIPAA violation, and huge invasion of privacy, which is what I just said. Absolutely. Fever. A Taurus is about to betray a Gemini in a huge way, a huge way, and an Aries. A Taurus and an Aries is about to betray a Gemini in a huge way, a huge way, and a Sagittarius, and a Sagittarius. A Taurus, a Gemini, I'm sorry, a Taurus, a, um, a Taurus, a Sag, and who was the other one? Taurus, a Sag, and an Aries is about to betray a Gemini in a huge way. This Gemini, through many series of chain events, will end up in jail with no bond. Criminal. Pedophile. Predator. Okay, oh my God, I heard this particular Gemini will end up, through many series of chain events, in jail. Um, criminal, predator, and... Um, pedophile. So, I mean, they do deserve to be a behind bars if they're a, pre a predator, a criminal, and a pedophile. And that's just the truth. So, it sounds like this Aries, Taurus, and um, whoever this other person is, Aries, Taurus, and the other sign, um, they're about to do the right thing. They're about to do the right thing. And a Virgo. And a Virgo. And a Virgo is about to betray him. Um, but Gemini Masculine, Okay, I heard it's a Gemini masculine. So it's a Gemini masculine. They're about to betray. Now, if it's not you, it's not you. If you're not a pedo, you're not a pedo. 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 And that's just the truth. You're not a pedophile. You're not a pedophile, Gemini masculine. Um, it's for one particular Gemini masculine out there. They're a pedo, a criminal, and a, pet, um, and a sicko, basically. And basically, these four, at least four people in the universe are about to betray them. They could be masculine. Fem energies. Aries, Taurus, Aries, Taurus Virgo, and Sag. Um, they can have Aries, Taurus, Virgo, or Sag, and there's some moon rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, Virgin, 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 but in all fairness, this person is a, deserves to be betrayed. To me, this isn't a betrayal. This is just releasing the information to put the pedophile away, and that's just the truth. Be my knees hear that. A sister stealing a feminine energy social security number is about to become very integral in a Gemini's life. For some Geminis, they're going to release this information. For some Geminis, they have strategically held it close. But they're about to release it. Okay, I heard um, some Gemini. Okay, so there's a 
not a Gemini. It's a sister that stole a fem energy social security number. I heard. Um, it could be your sister or somebody you're connected to, sister. But um, they stole a fem energy social security number. Whether it's your social security number, or somebody else's. Um, but I thought, feel for a lot of you guys, it's not yours. I feel it's somebody else's because I heard for some, you're going to release the information on this, so you know somebody's sister stole somebody's social security number. For some, you've been strategically holding it in. So why would you hold it in if it's your social security number that got stolen? That wouldn't make sense. So I don't feel whoever that's for, it's yours. I think you know somebody's sister stole somebody's social security number, and you're strategically holding it in. One, you're about to release it, information. One, you're... Um, when you're not, you're strategically holding it in. Only you know the kind of person you are or not. Are you high vibrational or are you low vibrational? I mean, you have to plug it in how it resonates. Seven chakra, Archangel Metatron. A pregnancy of an older Gemini is about to shock the hell out of them. Older Gemini feminine. Earth sign energy. The pregnancy of an older Gemini Femme is about to shock the hell out of them. Earth sign energy. So, um, one of you guys, your older Gemini Femme, I feel you're 35, 36 or above. Sounds like your beaver here, your earth sign has impregnated you. Um, heart is going to shock the hell out of you. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Man, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Heart is going to shock the hell out of you. So it doesn't sound like, uh, I don't know if you want to be pregnant or not be pregnant, Gemini, you're Gemini femme, older Gemini femme, 35, 36 or above. It's an earth sign masculine that has impregnated you, um, whoever that you are, ma'am. Uh, you could be happy about this or not happy. Six chakra, Archangel Metatron. A severe motor vehicle accident of an older Aquarius feminine and an older Cancer feminine is about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. Detrimental car accidents. Detrimental car accidents. Okay, I heard a, um, and this sounds upcoming. So, upcoming motor vehicle accidents. I heard horrific upcoming motor vehicle accidents. Some of a, um, Gemini fem, I'm sorry, not Gemini fem, a uh, Aquarius fem and some of a Cancer fem is about to become, it sounds like they're about to be life-threatening, if not cause deaths, these uh, motor vehicle accidents, um, whoever these people are and how they connect to you. I feel they could be 35, 34, 35, 36 or above Cancer fem or Aquarius fem, but somehow you're connected to these people. You plug it in, how it resonates. It's going to give you a huge awakening. In one of these situations, there's going to be deaths. It's going to give you a huge awakening. And in one of these situations, there's going to be deaths. So it's going to give you a huge, uh, I think, spiritual awakening and just wake up call, period. Because there's going to be deaths. Deaths involved in these severe motor vehicle accidents. They have not happened yet. It sounds like they're upcoming. Cancer fam, Aquarius fam energy. Spiritual gifts coming for a Gemini. Okay, I heard spiritual gifts coming for a Gemini. So some kind of spiritual gift energy. Um, that could be clear audience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, psychic medium ability, dreamscape ability. I uh, think true spiritual gifts, not mental health issues like auditory hallucinations, seeing spiders on walls or hearing Bob in the other room call your name when Bob's not in the other room. That's not what this is. This comes from inside, internally, spiritually. Seeing spiders on walls or a hand come out the wall or hearing voices in the other room, that's not this. So whoever you are, this is true spiritual gifts here, not mental health issues because I had to clarify that in Capricorn's reading. Because somebody in Capricorn's reading is about to get true 
mental health issues. True. Like auditory, um, I'm sorry, visual hallucinations. True visual hallucinations. Like seeing spiders on walls, seeing hands come out of walls. That's not what this crap is. Whoever you are, this is true spiritual gifts. So congrats to whoever this is. Uh, third eye's open or it's about to open. So you'll be able to receive the spiritual gifts. Congrats to whoever this is for. Tree. A huge case is being built. A huge case. Charge is coming. A huge case is being built. A huge case. Charge is coming. So some kind of huge case is being built with charges coming. This could be you build, building this huge case. If you work in the law enforcement or private uh, investigative sector or not. Some kind of huge case being built. Whether you're building, helping build this. Or somebody you're connected to is. However that resonates and applies, Gemini. Or you could be the one they're building the case on. Tree. For some, your family was trying to secretly compete with you and it's about to backfire. For some, someone else's family was secretly trying to compete with them and it's about to backfire. Okay, so for some, your family was secretly trying to compete with you and it's about to backfire. For some, somebody else's family was trying to secretly compete with you and it's about to backfire. So family tree energy, I feel this is like family tree energy. That's what I say to my damn self, man. People are too damn competitive, and that's just the truth. They're too competitive. They always want what you have. They always want to try to one-up you. They always want to try to win at all costs. Um, nay, nay, leave me the hell alone and let me live my life happily. Leave me the fuck out of it. And that's just the damn truth. So many fucking secret competition people out there in the fucking world. Keep to your goddamn self, and maybe you wouldn't have that problem. Anybody needs to hear that. A Gemini is about to learn of the pregnancy of a Pisces soon. Former lover. A Gemini is about to learn of the pregnancy of a Pisces soon. Former lover. So, a Pisces fin. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. Former lover, Pisces fin. You're about to learn she's pregnant, basically. By an earth sign, not by her husband. By Earth sign, not by her husband. Oh, okay. I heard she's apparently pregnant by Earth sign, not by her husband. So, Beaver's getting it in, and somebody else's property, apparently. You plug it in, how it resonates. So, a new addition to the family tree, um, except not the husband's child. You plug it in, how it resonates. Ear, good news. Children are progressing very nicely in school. A scholarship is about to become significant in a Gemini child's life. Children are progressing nicely in school, and a scholarship is about to become significant in a Gemini child's life. Well, congratulations to whoever that's for. I have children, too, two teenagers, and um, obviously want nothing but the best for them. So, um, and I, I, whoever this is for, I think you were the same way. Um, some kind of scholarship energy for one of you guys' child. I feel it's your biological child, not a foster child. For some, it could be a foster child. 
you plug it in how it resonates. If it is your foster child, I hope you love them as equally as you do your biological child because I'm a foster child and I wasn't loved like that. So I hope you are, sir or ma'am, just saying, or love your child equally if they are a foster child. I've always wanted to be a foster parent. Um, I told my ex-husband that many, many, many years ago, um, but it never worked out because he was a piece of crap and that's just the truth. Of course, I'm not using his name on here for privacy reasons. A Gemini feminine police officer is about to get wonderful news, be able to move in soon. Very toxic case, about to move in. Okay, a Gemini femme police officer is about to get news that she can move in soon on some kind of very toxic case. Um, so the green light, the good news, the green light, you're a Gemini femme police officer, and I've been picking up a Gemini femme police officer in here. Very strong in here. For months so um you might be the same one ma'am or you might be a different one um congrats to you hopefully it's busting up child pedophile rings or sex trafficking or illegal hidden cameras in people's homes and illegal case studies um however that resonates in one's life ma'am however that resonates or um fraud or theft or forgery or embezzlement or money laundering or what have you what have you but you're about to, the good news is the green light. So you go with your bad self, ma'am. You're a Gemini Femme police officer. An engagement is about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. An engagement is about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. So some kind of engagement, that's good news. I think you are the one about to be engaged to, proposed to, I'm sorry. So congrats for that. Or you could be the one in gate, um, proposing to somebody else. Hopefully you were a good match and you're not going to treat him like he's crap. Just saying, just saying. January. Significant, very, very, very significant trauma that a mother was put through unnecessarily. It's all about to backfire. Know this. It was put to an end primarily in January before that. But it is about to seriously backfire. Know this. The retaliation was too real. Okay, I heard some very significant trauma that a mother, single mother, a single mother was put through unnecessarily, was put to an end before January, I heard. So before January 2022. So it was put to an end before January 2022. But it sounds like it primarily stopped, primarily stopped in January 2022, or for the most part did. But I heard um, basically it's all about the backfire now. The retaliation was too real. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. Hopefully, you're not the one that retaliated or helped retaliate against this poor single mother. Only you know if you participated in this or not, sir or ma'am. Um, hopefully, you're going to try to stop this retaliation or, or help compensate her in some shape, form, or fashion. Because that is just ridiculous if I ever heard it. And that's just the truth. A new home is significant for a Gemini in January 2022. And a Gemini is about to start start seeing very strange things in their home. They're about to realize their home is haunted. Okay, a new, a new home was very significant for a Gemini in January 2022. And a Gemini is about to notice very strange things happening in their home. They're about to realize their home is haunted. So you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change.
A pregnant cancer is about to shock the hell out of you. And a pregnant Pisces. A pregnant cancer and a pregnant Pisces is about to shock the hell out of you. So I feel this could, it's somebody you're connected to. Some kind of pregnant cancer or pregnant Pisces femme energies. Um, so obviously they're unwilling to change. Um, I mean, they love to get pregnant. Um, or they don't know how to take birth control. Maybe they need to be educated on birth control. I mean, I don't know. Um, they, they're they unwilling to change about pregnancy. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Maybe they're cheaters um, or not. I don't know. But we got this card with that message. So I think they're stubborn. I think they might have sex addictions or they might be prostitutes. This is exactly what I think for some of them. I think they might be prostitutes or they might be... Um, um, that's what I think. I think they might be prostitutes or sex addicts. Um, cancer and fem, uh, Pisces femme energy. They could have cancer or Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hair, and Jupiter charts. And someone is not, does not want to get married. You need to know this right now. Someone you know is wants to pursue this person. They are not interested. Okay, and I heard someone does not want to get married. Um, someone you know wants to pursue this person and they're not interested. So I think it might be a friend of yours or a friend of me, how that resonates. But someone you know is interested in pursuing a femme energy. And I heard basically they don't want to get married. They're stubborn and unwilling to change, meaning they don't want to change their marital status. They do not want to get married, period, point blank. I think to anybody, probably because they might have been the femme energy that was freaking game stalked or retaliated against and had some such traumatic shit happen to her in the past. It's hell. And it might have had to done with her, uh, might have had to do with her ex, possibly, or not. But however that resonates, that's probably why the hell she don't want to get married for some of these people. I know I don't want to get married ever, ever, ever again. Period, point blank. Bar none. I've been divorced a very long time. A very long time. Almost a decade. Almost a decade. And I would not have it any other way. And that is the truth. Seriously. I love, I might be poor, well, not really poor, but I'm comfortable, but my point is, I'm not rich, but one day I will be, but you better believe I'm going to do it single. I don't want no fucking body with the ring on my finger. Now, congrats to whoever's about to get engaged. You want to. I fucking don't, period, point blank, bar none, and anybody that's ever known me in life knows that. And that is the damn truth, because I tell everybody, if anybody ever asks me. I remember when I was getting fired those three times, back to back after back, every time I went into those workplace situations, people in the workplace situation would be like, oh, I heard you're married. And I said, uh, no, no, I'm not. Does it look like I'm married? No. And uh, do I want to marry you? No. And I tell them that, and it pissed them off. But it's the truth. Did I get wrongfully terminated? Well, oh, did I hurt your little feelings? I'm so sorry. Seriously, that's people's personal damn choice. If you don't want to fucking get married, you don't want to get married. Period, point, blank, bar none. So whoever you are, your little friends, is trying to pursue somebody. So maybe you should give them the heads up. If you know who this femme energy is and they're so adamant on not wanting to get married, maybe you should give them the heads up the hell they don't want to get married. Because trust me, from a woman that doesn't want to get married ever, 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 ever again in her damn life, it offends people like us. Because we're so staunch on wanting to keep our singleness because of being through so damn much, we're not trying to fucking change. And that's the truth. If anybody needs to hear that.
Someone went through about something in a completely different way, and a Gemini is about to get a huge wake-up call. A huge wake-up call. Someone went about something in a completely different way, and a Gemini is about to get a huge wake-up call and a huge, a huge wake-up call. And a Gemini is about to apologize to somebody soon. And a Gemini is about to apologize to somebody soon. And someone's about to apologize to a Gemini. And someone's about to apologize to a Gemini. So one of you guys is about to get apologized to, and for one, you are about to get apologize. You one, you're about to apologize to somebody, and for one, you're about to apologize to somebody. Um, somebody's about to apologize to you. So you plug it in how it resonates, sir, ma'am. A Gemini is about to walk in on a Sagittarius three in a threesome. For some, it's your wife. For some, it's your sister. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! You plug it in, how it resonates. Whoa, that's too real. Um. Okay. So Sag energy strong. For some, you're about to walk in on a. I heard a Sag. Some it's your Sag sister. Some it's your Sag wife. On them having a threesome, but it's not you in the threesome. It's um, them and two other people. Um, for some, it's your Sag sister. For some, it's your Sag wife. You have to plug it in how it resonates. They can have Sag in their semi-rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Sharp. Love you guys. Everybody have a good day. Namaste.